And a rise in crime and the merits of bail reform are two of the most dominant issues leading up to next week's election. But a collaborative approach to the criminal justice system in Mount Vernon is looking to break the mold. News 12's Jonathan Gordon is outside the city court with more. And Jonathan, how does this program work? Yeah, well, a lot of times when you come out of these doors after you break the law here at the courthouse, you are going to face some sort of time behind bars. But here in Mount Vernon, they are taking steps to make sure that their youngest residents are staying out of jail. It has been a year of self-improvement for Jasmine Cabrera. It's a life-changing situation. She's one of a dozen young people who made it through the Emerging Adult Justice Program at the Youth Shelter of Westchester. Coming into this program, it taught me that it's not just negative, it's something positive out there. The initiative allows some people between 18 and 25 to resolve their cases without jail. The shelter has been doing this for more than four decades, but has increased its preventative outreach to target the root causes of crime over the last two years with signs of success. We really want to expose and positively reintegrate services so that these young people can be successful down the road. Program members are provided with schooling, job training, and housing opportunities. While those who are cast aside by society at a young age are given the tools they need to get back on track. And if you don't help them get a job or teach them how to work, in the community, then they're going to work on the corner. State level data shows without intervention, juveniles are more likely to reoffend than adults, according to the Department of Justice. We want to be in the space and place where we're getting to young people before they are created in this pipeline. And that same report from the Department of Justice, Justice that was released just this month found that over the last 20 years, the number of young people, youths who are still behind bars has dropped by about 80 percent. Nikita? And Jonathan, what's next for this shelter program? Well, they say that even though it's been early on the last two years, at least when they've started doing some more of this proactive work, they said they have noticed a difference. They believe it has been successful and they are actually offering out to other municipalities, other organizations to uh, get in touch with them, try and see if they can put uh, their skills out there and, and share a little bit of how this is working. They believe that this should be spread out, not just here in Westchester or the state, but really all across the country. In Mount Vernon, Jonathan Gordon, News 12.